Hey everybody, Veterans Fan 1979 back here with a special baseball card video. Haven't done a Chris's Card Talk video in a while, so decided to go ahead and do that. I'm going to try and keep it on the shorter side. Sorry for the sun coming in and out. Um, that's what happens when I do these things in the morning. I guess I should do them in the afternoon. <laughs> but anyways, I uh, hope everybody's having a great week. Uh, for me, I work for the government and we're in the last week of the government's fiscal year, so it's a little bit crazy for things um, at my work, but um, anyways, so just wanted to kind of give a couple announcements. <clears throat> uh, some of you guys have participated in AR Falc 77's rainbow submission contest, which is pretty sweet. Um, I actually didn't know anything about him, and then I started watching a few videos of people that made contest responses including Pepino Man, and he kind of turned me on to the guy, so I went and checked him out. Looks like he's been around for a while on YouTube. He's really hilarious, good sense of humor, and if you guys haven't seen just the contest announcement video, it's hysterical. There's a lot of funny music, you know, funny comedy, uh, just a really funny guy. So uh, the contest is to show some of the rainbows that you've either completed or are in progress. Um, of working towards and so I showed two of my Joey Votto rainbows that are fully completed and then uh, two others that I am only missing like one card of course I'm missing the super fractors and all of them but I feel like obviously it's impossible for most people to get a rainbow because only one person can have that true rainbow with the one of one so I think most people accept a rainbow is just everything but the one of one so you know, let me know what you guys think about that, but uh, nearly impossible to get a true, true rainbow with the one of one. So, uh, did the contest video. I also posted another video. I got a Pete Alonzo Topps Chrome Rookie in the mail. Um, I have that lot available for sale or trade. Um, <clears throat> I posted a video the other day about it. I said I wanted $20 for it, but then I went and did a little further research on eBay. And it looks like each of those cards are going for about $5 each. So <clears throat> I would take 15 and then maybe a couple dollars for shipping. So we'll say like 17 shipped. Um, if somebody's interested in doing that, let me know. Just comment below and I'll uh, get in touch with you. Um, it, it's also up for trading on the trade block. So um, if anybody has any Nick Senzel rookies that I don't have, the only ones I don't have at this point are... The majority of the Chronicles. Uh, the only two I have of Chronicles are the Obsidian and the Classics. So I think there's several others. I think there's like a Crusade, a Contender's Optic, um, a Playoff. Um, there might. I think there's a Cornerstone that has a little jersey piece, and then there's. I'm forgetting some of the others, um, but I think there's eight total, like little sub brands where he has rookies. So. Uh, anybody that, oh, Spectra, that's one too. If anybody has those, uh, definitely would consider trading. Obviously, if anybody has any Joey Votto's that I don't have, which I have a lot of them, so you just have to like, let me know what you have. Um, any like rookies or numbered cards, um, you know, would definitely be interested in that too. So that's, uh, that's the one big announcement. The other one I wanted to say, um, I told you guys I'm not buying many boxes. Um, hobby boxes this year, especially with two younger kids. I'm spending less money on cards and just kind of concentrate on singles that I want to buy, you know, a couple of the rookies this year and then like to beef up my Senzel and Votto PCs. Those are like the two main PCs I'm working on. So, but um, decided I, I had a little bit of uh, extra work I did this year, uh, last month and got some overtime. And so I had some money left and decided I wanted to buy a um, hobby box of Bowman's Best, which I've done that for the last two years. This will be the third year in a row. Uh, last year was a big mistake. I think if you guys follow me on a regular basis, I posted some videos about it, but I, I ended up trying to go the cheap route on eBay and find somebody with the lowest buy it now price. Um, it ended up being a disaster because the guy bought a whole case of cards, ended up only selling one or two boxes and then stiffed everybody and uh at the time i bought the stuff he had pretty good ratings um but he just went downhill 
and because it was a pre-sale, I, you know, obviously I, cars didn't come out for a couple months until after I ordered them, so I had no way of knowing that. So I had to fight through uh, eBay and PayPal to get my money back. I eventually did, but it took like 30 or 40 days, which was just a lot of hassle. Uh, I ended up getting another box, ironically, a little cheaper than that through auction. Um, just was the highest bidder on that. But this year I decided to just do the smart thing and look around at some of the bigger um, clear, you know, bigger mass distributors like Blowout, David Adams Card World, um, Steel City Collectibles. Those are kind of the big three. And then I you know, decided to poke around. There's a couple other secondary ones. There's one called Diamond Cards. Um, I've seen them a few times, have good prices, and decided to poke around and see if there was any like LCSs that did online sales that were you know competitive. So I was poking around. Uh, most of the prices of these cards are going for, for like 130 to 145 a box, and then plus shipping. So I was like, well, that's a little, it's a little high, but I'll keep looking. So I did my research and. I came across this one store called Grand Slam Collectibles. They're in Tennessee, just a little south of Nashville, in a town called Murfreesboro. Some of you guys have probably heard of it that are from that area. Um, and I can't remember what the price was initially. I wanted to say like $129.99. So I just put a box in my cart and I decided to kind of think about it, um, decide what I wanted to do. I didn't do anything for about three or four days. And then of course, like most good businesses they send you an email saying oh you got something in your cart do you want to complete your purchase you know they're trying to get the sale um, when I went to my cart actually the price had dropped to 116.95 and then when I went to their website I found it and the boxes were originally 144.95 and had dropped to 116.95 uh, so that's a pretty good deal plus uh, seven dollars for shipping so if you're still less than 125 a box that's pretty good for Bowman's best um, I would consider them a mid-tier product. They're sort of quasi-premium. They're really nice cards. Um, usually have a great design, um, <clears throat> a great compilation between veterans, rookies, and prospects. Generally a 100-card set, so pretty collectible. Um, and some really nice inserts, and you get four autographs per box. It's a master box divided into two mini boxes. So anyways, um, I went ahead and completed that and ordered it. And I, I got um, a transaction, I got a confirmation and uh, everything. So it was a bit more official than what happened last year. So I feel a bit more secure about that. Um, you guys should go check it out because last time I, I ordered about a week ago and they still had six of the eight boxes in their case. So again, Grand Slam Collectibles um, Incorporated. Just type that in on Google. You'll find them. You can search for the boxes or type in 2019 Bowman Best Hobby Box Grand Slam Collectibles and hopefully it'll bring you up uh, to their page there. So I hope somebody else gets this great deal. I just wanted to pass it along um, since I love the YouTube community and I'm just hoping other people get uh, as good of a deal as, as I did because I know a lot of people like to pre-order this stuff because when it comes out, um, it usually doesn't do anything but go up online. I'm kind of, I was kind of tempted to buy a second box and just keep it and sit on it for a couple years and watch it go up generally they'll go up uh, 10 you know 20 percent a year or something uh, obviously there's a there's a ceiling point but um, I was like yeah I just you know I'd rather just I like to open the cards I don't like to sit on stuff uh, that kind of curiosity factor gets to me I want to see what's in the box so anyways I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this please comment on any of the topics I've discussed definitely open for discussion definitely enjoy hearing what you guys have to say about everything uh, for everybody else I hope you have a great weekend uh, with your families uh, your loved ones and I uh, hope you're enjoying the cooler weather I know I am here in Ohio it's finally dropping into the high 70s um, which it, it should be for late September now I'm, I'm waiting for can't wait for real fall so all right everybody have a great day take care